I am standing in the Columbia River Gorge, about 50 miles to the east of Portland. This is one of my favorite places to come in Oregon. Behind me, you will see Beacon Rock. It was named by the Lewis and Clark Expedition. It was at this point in the Columbia River that Lewis and Clark were able to measure the tidal changes caused by the Pacific Ocean. So they knew that they had found this mighty river that crossed through the ocean, through the mountains to the oceans, and from this point, they were going to reach the Pacific by following this river. There are three things that I love about the Columbia River Basin. First is behind me, Beacon Rock. Beacon Rock stands at the narrows of the Columbia River Gorge. In ancient Ice Age times, about 15,000 years ago, the Columbia River Basin was blocked by a huge ice dam. This ice dam held one of the largest collections of fresh water during the Ice Age. And each summer as the lakes filled, they overtopped this ice dam and flooded this entire Columbia River Valley, carving out this great river's estuary. This river of ice and water flowed one cubic mile at a time, 60 miles an hour through this gorge. Once the Ice Age Dam was gone, the Columbia River began to flow normally as we see it today, leaving Beacon Rock and the beautiful cliffs and surroundings. I hope you enjoy it. Our woman I know took for my best friend. Some joker got lucky, stole her back again. He better come on in my kitchen. It's fun to be ready to do. My second favorite place on the Columbia River Gorge is behind me, Multnomah Falls. I hope you enjoy it. The woman I know took for my best friend. Some joker got lucky, stole her back again. He better come on in my kitchen. It's hard to be ready to I'm now at my favorite place in the Columbia River Gorge. It's Rooster Rock State Park. This is a fabulous place to come collect some sun, lay on a sandy beach, and enjoy the beauty of the canyon. As you can see, it's clothing optional.